All right, back at it again. So of course, every time we have an issue with the truck, we end up tearing it all the way apart again. Almost seems that way. So first thing was first is brakes. So we got a couple new masters in there, some Willwoods compacts. I got one fit in the other one. I gotta basically I gotta put the fittings in, run the lines, bleed all the old stuff out, put all the new fluid in, set that up. So I gotta go get some bolts for those. But they're pretty compact. They're about the size. Roll the quarters. I gotta tie all this up. Get to that in a minute, but that is pretty much it. So we have to run the relocation kits because the way the steering comes through. So we just turn them to the side, put clamps on them. And there we go. Then we got our bias adjuster at the front. So new masters. Got the gauge panel in there. I remounted it. Remounted it to the lower cage because where it was at before it was laid down too much. So I don't know if you remember, there was a whole piece of steel and all kinds of stuff put in here that was pretty heavy and the driver would get his knees hit on the steering if he got hit the steering bracket and all that so what we did was is went to Weir's machine and we ordered a steering column clamp on steering column bracket and I'm not sponsored by them but I tell you what the quality that they make in parts is pretty dang good I mean, I thought it was going to be a heavy piece. It's pretty lightweight, even down to the collar lock. The Nan collar lock is pretty lightweight too. But it's got a ball, uh, basically a heim joint ball on the end of it, a mono ball. It's got a little alignment lines when we put the steering on. But I mean, you can literally push. I was pushing all my weight on this. I couldn't get it to move. And it literally just clamps down to the tube. And you could adjust it up and down, side to side, you know, get the steering where you want it. It's a pretty nice setup. Well, what used to be in there was this big junk piece here. So we had this big old piece of steel in there. That weighed quite a bit. Then we took the grate out of the bottom because it made the truck almost impossible to clean the floor out. And we just added that. And it's a lot more cleaner. It's a lot more safer. It's not in the driver's knees or anything like that. So now I just got to get another collar. I believe I have one at the, the house. You know, the collar to weld onto the end of that, and then that will be the end of the steering. So that should be the look from the driver. So hold on, we lower it a bit. The driver will sit about like here, right? So you can see his gauges and all that. The most important one is the oil pressure. So make sure that one's at the end. And basically these brackets are made out of a turbo 350 transmission clutch that was burned up so i cut them down and riveted to the roll cage and then the bottom is bolted so we can remove it to get act more access to the brake assembly if we have to at the track but that's pretty much it this bracket also is adjustable if i want to move this all the way back i can it's got holes all the way through And as you could probably tell, we have the windshield out of it again. One, to darken it, and two, it gives us more access to the brakes and stuff to work on it. Which is nice. I've got all new relocation cylinders and all that for it. To run new hoses and stuff. I got the Willwood kits down there. But basically just go bulletproofing the brake system since that last failure. Didn't realize how much braking we would need. We weren't the only ones out there messing the brakes up. A couple guys were like red hot on the brakes. Working on a new cross brace in the front here for the radiator support. And then after that, I've got to redo the front tin on it. Didn't get banged up or nothing, but bring a little bit closer. But uh, as usual, it's always something on race cars. Always. So throwing a couple clips. I squared it up the other day to kind of get it somewhat close before we do any adjusting and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much, that was our goal today. Get the switch panel in, get the brakes kind of mocked up in there, see what we need. I've just got to measure the lines, get the lines for it, uh, tie my wiring up and all that, do a final tighten up on the uh, steering. I am going to take those bolts out because they're steer bo steel bolts and put some anti-seize on them and then run them back in there. Because if I want to remove that, I don't want to have to cut that piece off of there. Because you know how steel and aluminum is. But hopefully we don't have to remove it or nothing like that. But yeah, again, it's a pretty dang nice piece. Pretty lightweight too. So I'd probably say we were about 100 pounds heavy 
fully loaded with fuel and we crossed the scales last time at the track so we should be about I'm gonna say we probably took about 35 maybe 40 pounds out of the truck so we should be getting down there close little more little things we could do to save weight but that'll be the majority of it stuff like that but other than that though that's it